So this is how to pack all your stuff into one bag, no matter how much stuff you have. This is how I do it, and it makes life a lot easier. First things first, get all my stuff together. My boots, helmet, very important. Now obviously the snowboard. Okay, now in my bag, these are the goggles I'm gonna be wearing tomorrow. I'll take these just in case. Mittens, and inside the mittens, I have my wrist guards, so I know I have both sets. And then with that comes the face mask. Uh, these are extra gloves I don't need. I'm gonna put my goggles on my helmet so I don't forget them. Helmet, I usually attach to my bag. Definitely recommend getting these. They're just like hooks that I got for my snowboarding stuff. Literally turns any bag, this is just a backpack, into a perfect place for all your snowboarding stuff. Makes it easy to carry anything. I'm gonna use this one for my snowboard helmet. Two more for my boots, and it works perfectly. So I can put everything on my back. Now inside the bag, you're gonna have my snow pants, extra pair of goggles, my goal pole, just in case I wanna use it. I knew this year, my butt pads. Gonna give these a try. So my gloves and wrist guards, I usually put in the front pocket along with my face mask. Okay, now I need my filming equipment. So I have my GoPro that I'm filming on right now, and obviously a battery inside the GoPro. And I have my extra GoPro battery and three extra batteries. What I usually do is I use this GoPro battery first and then the non GoPro batteries. I have them labeled so I know which ones I've used and which I haven't. And I put this inside a plastic bag so it's waterproof and then actually in a sock in my pocket while I'm snowboarding just for a little extra cushion and a little extra warmth. And that all goes in my GoPro bag that I also have my windshield in. This is what's going to be on my GoPro tomorrow. So hopefully you can hear me while I'm actually snowboarding and the wind doesn't disrupt too much. And that's all going to go in here. <laughs> Bag is looking good. Now it's something I love to do before I go snowboarding is use the old reliable speed wax. I use this every time before I snowboard. Definitely recommend it. I made a review on this. I'll tag that video, but uh, this stuff actually works. It's very impressive. First, I'm gonna clean the board off a little, get all the dirt off. It's Cause it's gonna be warm tomorrow too. So I definitely need this. Snow is gonna be soft and slow. <laughs> So I kind of just put a bunch on and then top of this is a cork used to rub it into the base of the board. Okay, now that is all my snowboard gear. Snowboards are ready to go, boot, helmet, everything else is ready to go. And everything fits in one bag perfectly. And this is a great way to do it. Now I'm gonna go upstairs and get my stuff ready upstairs that I need for snowboarding, like my clothes and stuff. Okay, now it's gonna be warm tomorrow. So I'm thinking it's gonna be a flannel day. That's it. I'm gonna bring my windbreaker, some pants for under my snow pants, a hat, and then I'm gonna wear a sweatshirt. The wardrobe is iffy because it's gonna be six degrees tomorrow, but definitely wearing a sweatshirt or bring a sweatshirt. Just a breathable shirt underneath. Okay, I pretty much have all my stuff ready. Got my wallet, phone, AirPods, all my GoPro stuff downstairs. And then I'm just gonna make lunch because our plan is to actually snowboard first lift to like two o'clock and then leave and have lunch. We don't have lunch on the mountain. Uh, just get all our runs in through in that time because it's actually New Year's Eve tomorrow. So we gotta get home quick. Get all our runs in in that time, eat in the parking lot and then go home. Need my pass. So now I got my pass and that's it. That is pretty much what I do to get ready for snowboarding. This is what I did the day before. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.